So you're looking at about a month, okay, to actually get started once you put in that application. From the moment that you actually get your interview, you're looking at about two to two and a half weeks to finally come on board ABF Freight Lines. Depending on your application, you know, depending on the experience that you have, your resume. For example, I had a, what, four months night transportation, eight months JB Hunt, one whole year truck lines, and now I'm at ABF Freight Lines. So it just depends on that, right? It depends on any violations you've had with the companies. But initially from when I, when I put my application in, as soon as I put my application in, what I did not see, they sent me an email, but I didn't really read it. I had to click where it says here. Okay, so once you finish your application, check your email, click here. It'll take you back to ABF Freight, where you have to put your social security in. Okay, then they send you another confirmation email that someone will be um, in touch with you. No one will be in touch with you. Okay, when it comes to UPS, when it comes to ABF, you have to chase the company. The companies don't come for you. You know, they're, they're not needy, bro. Like th this is a whole different ball game. You are getting into an actual career. You're looking at a pension. You're looking at the Teamsters Union. I mean, this is the best that you can get in trucking as a company driver. There's nothing better. So you have to be the ambitious one. You have to chase, okay? So you finish your, your application, you, you do the, uh, the confirmation of your social security number. And then from that point, I just started calling. Okay, I got the recruitment number and I started calling that recruitment number every day. And within, within three days, um, I was put in touch with, he, he called me, he said, hey, you know, this is Bobby Thomas. And, uh, you know, I'm here to um, inquire on your interest in the company. What kind of experience do you have? You know, all that stuff. And he told me, okay, go ahead and message me tomorrow so that we can set up your interview. I said, great. So I did that, had my interview three days later on a Saturday. It was a, a FaceTime interview. And, um, you know, a few of some of the questions he asked me was like, you know, how do I deal with stress? And I said, this is how I deal with stress. I have an acronym, STOP. I stop, think, observe, and plan. That's how I've always dealt with stress. <laughs> he really liked that answer. He really liked my resume. And he said, you know what, man? He's like, I really like how everything's looking. Uh, from this point, he's like, look out for an email. Okay, we're gonna start your backgrounds process here pretty soon. So just, just keep a lookout on your email, on your text messages, so on and so forth. I said, great. Uh, didn't hear anything on that Monday. The interview was Saturday. I heard nothing on Monday. I figured I was already in backgrounds. Um, I was constantly going online and checking my status, my application status. And at that time, it changed from it changed from interview scheduled, interview completed, um, and then Monday it said interview completed. That that's all it said. I didn't actually, they didn't actually start on my background until that Wednesday. So two days later. So, you know, I was constantly on the computer checking, constantly calling. Um, I, I would call maybe three times a day and that was it. You know, I didn't want to bug too much and I expressed to them, you know, thank you for, thank you for answering. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. I'm not trying to bother, you know, I just want to make sure I'm staying on top of the ball. They said, no, we completely understand. That's fine. You know, that's what we're looking for. This is good. And even on the interview, Bobby said, you know, he's like, he's like, I had to set you up for an interview already, man. You were blowing up the phone and blah, blah. I say, yeah, I apologize. He's like, no, man. He's like, that is what we're looking for. Now, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Don't be calling them nonstop. Three times a day. Okay. That's the maximum amount that I was calling or messaging, you know? Don't bug too much, but be persistent because when you call, someone will answer. So don't worry. So anyway, come Wednesday came and that Wednesday evening, I finally got a call from, uh, from the backgrounds investigator to let me know that they were starting my, my, 
<laughs> my my background's process. Okay, that they they were just they were just barely starting it. So instead of Monday starting backgrounds, they started Wednesday, and then come so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right? That Wednesday, when they started my backgrounds process, I checked online and it took it took about an hour, but they changed the status to backgrounds process or something like that. Backgrounds in review, I think it said. So I was like, okay, great, man. The status on here changed. Awesome. <clears throat> I had to do, I received a call that Wednesday to let me know, you know, that I needed to get in a clearinghouse and allow ABF access to my clearinghouse. So I completed that and kicked off the, uh, the backgrounds process. So I finally cleared backgrounds on Monday, Monday where they said they were still waiting for Melton truck lines to, um, to respond, you know, with their questions. So I gave Melton truck lines a call, talked to Nisha, everything got squared away. Thank you very much. And, um, you know, it was all set. So I received an email Monday evening that the backgrounds process was complete criminal and employment was all verified and they scheduled me for drug screen Mexico headed south for my last load and then headed on to California and um, by the time I got back you know I was sick and everything I felt horrible uh, got my test for COVID I was clear and then I had to take my DOT physical so on that Monday right on Monday they, they changed my status online, you know, to DOT physical scheduled. So I wanted the location. It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, walk in um, right there on, on Garfield and uh, got that done. So got my results. I believe I took that. I took that test on Thursday, got my results back Monday. Right. So here we are already three weeks into the process. Uh, from the interview, that's about that's about a week and a half from the interview. From the application, that's about three weeks. So, I uh, cleared that, and then they scheduled me for the, the road test, which I took. Uh, which I took today is what's today? Today is Tuesday. So this was the last week on Thursday that I went to take my road test and successful coupling or uncoupling and coupling of, of the doubles and then, you know, go out on the road test. So they basically walked me up to a set, right? Um, they walked me up to a set and I had to uncouple it and then couple it, do a little pre-trip, get out on the road. You know, that was it. Um, guy said he really liked, he really liked the way I drive, said I need a little work on, you know, doubles and triples. That was literally my first time coupling and uncoupling doubles. I, before that I had the endorsement for like the past two years, but never used it. He said, that's fine. He, uh, he liked my approach. He liked that I was honest and, uh, more, more importantly, he really loves the way I drive, you know? So that's, that was, a, that, that was great. That was, uh big plus in my book, big plus in his. And uh, here I am now, you know, great, at a great, uh, great place. So after that, I got a call and a text message from Arc Best Freight Lines in Arkansas. Uh, and uh, she let me know that she was scheduling me for orientation this coming Wednesday in two days. So I'll go to orientation and get that $10,000 check in my hand at the end of the day and start my career. And uh, like I said, right now, before September 30th, you will have, uh, you will be able to still have the luxury and the opportunity uh, to get that $10,000 bonus. It's unheard of, you know, as far as LTL companies, um, they just, they never do this. And it, for me, at first it was a red flag, but the fact that number one, ABF isn't advertising it everywhere. You know, me, I'm just a driver. L look back at my history. I've, I've just been vlogging my journey. And I want to make sure that my subscribers get the best information. So I hope you've been able to capitalize and get your CDL 
and have at least a year of trucking experience by now so that you can jump on this opportunity. Because if not, well, you have to go get your CDL and then hope that an opportunity like this opens up again. And I just, I don't know. I don't think there will be. I know there's been a lot of guys that re retired from UPS and from Mark Best Freight Lines and um, they are in need of good drivers. But like I said, they're not advertising this bonus everywhere. You know, so that tells you something. And then the fact that you have to chase them, you know, as, and as soon as I put in my app with Arc Best, I had places like T-Force calling me. I had um, all these other companies that came out of the woodwork and they started, um, they started giving me job offers. And I was just like, wow, you know, it was a bunch of different LTL companies, but no one that could compete with Arc Best nor UPS as far as Teamsters Union and Pension. You know, this, this place can't be beat, so. Anyways, that's been the process so far. Once I get through orientation on Wednesday, I'll let you guys, I'll do a video on that, let you guys know how my day went, all that good stuff. Mr. By the Mile, you're home for discussions based on my knowledge and experience in trucking, the Red Belt Survival. Big thank you to Melton Truck Lines my, for my experience there, the opportunity that I was given uh, to go over the road and just get an invaluable amount of lessons, life experience, job experience. You know, thank you very much. You guys have been great. And now on to the next chapter in life where I can be home every day at a outstanding place like Arc Best Freight Lines, getting paid well and, um, you know, using all the skills that I learned, bringing them here and learning more from these guys. Now, understand that you're going to be, if you apply, you're going to have to operate a forklift. That's just for entering the business. Okay. You, you come into Arc Best you're going to have to hop on a forklift, load your trailer. It's only 20 foot long, bro. Deliver within a 15 mile radius. That's your day, bro. Maybe you come back and load a couple of those trailers or take a set, you know, because I know we have another, we have another center over there in Fontana and some other ones, you know, all throughout California, all throughout the United States. So, um, but I'm going to be operating within a 15 mile radius. I'm pretty sure they'll probably have me going uh, you know, over to Fontana once in a while. And so as a matter of fact, that's where I have to go for my orientation. So anyways, Mr. By the Mile, you're home for discussions. <coughs> Based on my knowledge and experience in trucking the Red Pill and Survival, take care, stay safe, all you truck drivers out there, new and veteran men. See you on the road.